Hi YouTube, here I am again with an interesting piece, the uh, JV0020-21F, that's a, a long code uh, for the Citizen ProMaster 20th anniversary 200 meter eco drive, um, yeah, dive watch, uh, you could almost call it a dive computer because of all the dive functions it has. Um, it's uh, a big watch, uh, 48 millimeter diameter, even though it has this uh, yeah, very asymmetrical uh, design, which is very appealing and honestly very comfortable to wear. Um, and uh, the, all the buttons are easily accessible, no screw down crowns, um, everything ready to push. Uh, so I guess it is quite popular with divers and of course um, for us des desk divers, um, this uh, yeah, a little bit more exotic kind of look um, is also very appealing. Um, it has an eco drive uh, movement, which is basically a lithium battery which uh, charges through sunlight. <coughs> and as you can see, I mean, the uh, we have the uh, hours hand, the minutes hand, and the seconds hand. And then you can see another uh, little orange hand uh, across this uh, kind of arch on the left hand side. So that indicates the power charge currently. As you can see, it's in the white band. There's a white band and then there's a white dot and then a red band. Uh, and currently it is in the uh, white band, middle of the white band. So this should be enough charge for a couple of months. Um, I've been wearing this watch now for almost a week indoors, outdoors, and uh, obviously it's not fully charged. <clears throat> this will probably take a bit longer currently. Um, um, it, uh, yeah, I think three, four months battery charge should be um, currently sufficient. Um, yeah, it has a, uh, it comes in different colors. Or let's say it comes in this orange black color and it comes with different uh, rubber straps. Uh, this is the one with the orange rubber strap. Uh, there's another one with a black rubber strap. I think you can get the, uh, the case in titanium. This is actually a stainless steel case, surgical grade 316 uh, stainless steel. Um, the crystal, unfortunately, is uh, mineral glass, so no sapphire. Uh, and of course, even though it is stainless steel, it's not ceramic or, um, let's say, especially hardened uh, material. So there are a number of nicks and dings it has taken along the way. Um, but it's, a, I guess, it's a workhorse. So uh, in the end, uh, it's very reliable. Um, and uh, a couple of scratches here and there, just uh, they, uh, they go with the job. Um, it's a so-called Digiana concept. So we have a digital little window there, um, which has uh, all the functions. Um, it has 20 dive logs, it has 42 uh, cities programmed for uh, multiple time zones. Um, it uh, logs every dive, as mentioned, 20 dives uh, with the water temperature, the time, the maximum depth, um, and uh, also is able to uh, time your surface time uh, between the dives. Uh, so I'm not going to go into all the functions and buttons. Uh, if, you want, if you're interested in that, I would suggest you go to a manual. Um, because uh, it has so many functions uh, and all these uh, button combinations. Uh, what is interesting, um, let's see whether um, it can show. So it, it has a, of course, it has some uh, loom application on the hour markers and the, and the hands. And also, um, when you press this button, the light button actually just lights up the um, the. Yeah, the LED lettering there. So it is quite interesting. It's a nice blue effect um, in the dark. Um, it doesn't uh, stay on very long. Um, so it's it's just a short, uh, I guess to save battery life here, just a short uh, burst of light to give you some information there. Um, 
eco drive as you can see it basically is a quartz movement the second hand uh, clearly uh, going from second to second um, obviously uh, very precise uh, so that's what uh, quartz movements are well known for um, nothing special about this quartz movement uh, probably a regular Seiko uh, quartz uh, movement with this eco drive um, charging function um, uh, at the 12 o'clock position you can also see a little like a red uh, light or uh, some kind of a, 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 a diode uh, so this is um, also um, an alarm a dive alarm if you ascend too quickly of course it also has uh, wake up alarms that you can set so um, the typical quartz functions here um, this asymmetrical design, um, yeah, uh, this is the part that you wear on the front of the wrist, so it's really comfortable and nothing digging into your wrist. Um, we have, if I turn around, so we have around about 15 millimeter thickness for this watch. But you can see here the two push buttons and then we have the water sensor um, in the middle. Um, and that I'll just demonstrate or simulate the function. Uh, it's pretty cool now the, the hands are in the way but if water touches this then it it goes to an automatic dive mode um, yeah, now the hand is in the way but as you can see you know two little fish there a diver some some air bubbles um, really cool little little feature here so uh, I've worn this in a pool many times or in the sea um, it works, uh, you don't have to do anything, it automatically is activated. Uh, cool, cool little function there. And on the other side we see also the push button, the black and the, the orange push buttons. And the actual depth sensor, um, also known from other, um, this, uh, what do you call it, uh, ProMaster series kind of watches with a depth sensor. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, we have a screw down case back, uh, 200 meter waterproof, the whole thing, the, the, the depth, uh, let's say reading um, on the scale here on the left hand side actually only goes to 100 meters, uh, even though it has a 200 meter depth. So uh, it is obviously for skin diving, not for saturated diving, I mean the 200 meters. It's not a practical depth to dive to, but uh, even 100 meters is already far excessive of what uh, recreational divers would go to. Um, yeah, that's uh, that more or less uh, tells us a lot about this watch. Um, the rubber strap is really pretty good. Um, what I like about it is uh, it's soft. It's uh, very nice to the touch. Um, it has this accordion style uh, kind of uh, design which uh, makes it fit on your wrist. Uh, it can expand and move around a bit, uh, some elasticity. At the same time, the band is pretty long, so if you have a small wrist, uh, that could be yeah, not the best. There could be some, some, uh, some band uh, protruding. For me, with a big wrist, 8-inch uh, wrist, uh, it is really good, perfect. I guess the design is also intended to cover uh, a wetsuit um, to have some additional strap length there. Usually Citizen uh, supplies uh, uh, like a strap extension in its ProMaster watches. Um, in this case, um, it's just a longer, a longer strap, maybe uh, this is also an older model. Uh, maybe they changed that uh, to get more uh, target audience. Uh, they, they bring it. Uh, I realize that the new ones have a much shorter uh, strap. Um, and that probably uh, is related to getting a bigger target audience. Uh, and then if you want to get an extension, you just put in this uh, the uh, additionally supplied uh, extension strap. Okay, um, I'll give you a little close-up of the dial again. So uh, I must say it's a it's a it's a watch you don't see every day. It's something special. 
and uh, according to the reviews I've seen, the dive indication, the depth indication is really accurate. They've compared it with dive computers. So um, this is a really serious dive watch, obviously no, uh, no nonsense, uh, full functionality kind of watch uh, for um, yeah, recreational divers the main target audience all right guys that's it for today take care peace out